Hi, my name is Björn Steinhagen and welcome to our video series Programming with RFM 6 and Python. These videos are appropriate for any and all who want to get started with using RFM 6's exciting new feature, Web Service. Web Service offers a programming language independent means to communicate with RFM 6. Our team at Lubal provides a comprehensive support framework, specifically in Python, Java and c -sharp libraries, the benefit of which is a simplified programming experience. This video series focuses on programming with Python. If you have little or no experience coding in Python or even modeling and analyzing in RFM 6, fear not. This video series provides the necessary steps to get you going. The world of structural engineering is a unique field. Analysis and design is extremely complex, whereby simulations of modeled structures inform our design decisions. Our entire design philosophies hinge off the quality and depth of information provided from the simulations that we as engineers carry out. How can we get more out of our models while adhering to time constraints that typically don't provide much room for innovation? Programming with RFM6 and Python is your solution. Programming is an easy way to use the power of RFM6 beyond its graphical interface. We are talking about an enhanced digitized workflow that utilizes the computational power of your machine over manual procedures. Computers are much better than us when it comes to maths, checking hundreds of design options and exploring possibilities. Thus the opportunities are unbounded. One can create applications on top of RFM6, we can streamline our workflows, for example model definition and input, and plug RFM6 into your chain of application. The opportunity to simulate and analyze multiple design options, the ability to run size, shape and or topological optimization algorithms, an automatic increase in the degree of quality in our work, not just by algorithmic model definitions, but also you can extend or reinforce RFM6 with your own checks. A heightened interoperability between the wide range of software that we as structural engineers need to use when delivering a project. Computers, however, only do what they are told, and getting your computer to run tasks for you requires you to communicate with it. This communication is achieved through programming. We are excited to share how this is possible in our compact video series Programming with Python and RFM6. Here we go through a little bit about Python, why Python and how is the communication between RFM6 and Python even possible. This is providing some theory to the concept of RFM6 and APIs and the previously mentioned web services. How to get started, this includes the downloading of everything you need, the setup, etc. The concept of libraries, what they are and how to use them. And with the above covered, we'll be in the position to write some code and what better way to learn than through implementation. Here we will run through some examples which increase in complexity. Just to reiterate, no prior knowledge or experience in programming is required. We completely understand the fact that we are engineers and not computer scientists. The overarching goal of these videos is to provide you with the building blocks to get going. I hope you are excited for the video series.